Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is arithmetic progression, which is also called arithmetic sequence. They are both things. Arithmetic progression and arithmetic sequence are essentially same thing. We will start off with the basics and move to more advanced stuff as we proceed. We are going to start with the sequence. What is a sequence? A sequence is a set of things or numbers that are in order. And here is the example of a sequence. As we can see, our first term is 5. The next number is 8, then 11, 14, 17. By the way, each of these numbers are whatever member is called the term okay always make sure so this is the first term is 5 so we are going to call it first term this one is first term this 8 is our second term this 11 we're gonna call it third term and goes on and on so this is an example of a set of numbers that are in order first is five then we add three to get eight and eight we add three again to get eleven and onward so the first type of sequence is called finite sequence it is a list of numbers in which the first and the last term is given as you can see this is a finite term the first term is given and the last term is given as well so we call this one a finite sequence and the second type is called infinite sequence this is a list of numbers that goes on forever in other words so we don't see any last term that this goes on and on so this is an example we know our first term second third but it just simply goes on and on and so we no wonder we call it infinite sequence now let's talk about arithmetic progression and here is the definition of arithmetic progression in which the difference between any two consecutive term is constant in other words same and here is the example of arithmetic progression our very first term is 3 and then 5 7 that means we're going to be adding just simply 2 to get to the next term okay so this is what in other words we just add the same value each time isn't it we are adding same value each time so this is no matter which consecutive term you take let's take these two the difference is two if we take these two consecutive terms our distance difference is going to be always same thus we can write as this sequence has a difference of two between each term the pattern is continued by adding two to the previous term as i showed you before and one real, really crucial thing to remember is the difference between any of these two terms is called common difference and which is denoted by D. So in our this example, our common difference is 2. So in other words, our D equals to 2 in this example. Once again, common difference. And once again, the common difference is obtained by subtracting the second minus the first term. If we have a this is the last or the second and this is your first, then you just subtract it. 7 minus 5 equals to give you 2. If you between do this one, that's going to be 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. If you are looking for a difference, this one, 11 minus 9 is going to give us 2 and here is the example of arithmetic progression this is indeed a arithmetic progression because the difference common difference if you can see is 2 no matter which term you take the difference between them is same or 
constant. Thus, in this example, 3 is our very first term. No wonder we call it a1, and which is a1 equal to 3. And the common difference is 2. That means the difference between any two consecutive terms is d equals to 2. So just keep in your mind in this example, a1 is our very first term, v is 3. Second term is v denoted by a of 2. The first term is a of 1, second is a of 2, this is going to be a of 3, a of 4, and goes on and on. And here is our general formula for arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence and here a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. This is going to be the very basic building blocks in our next tutorials. And sometimes you might see this the same formula a little bit differently. In this case, it's the same thing, only D at the putting it at the end, we just put it in front of this parentheses. That is the only difference. Let's go over once again in this formula. A sub 1 is always called our first term here. A sub 1 is this one and a sub n is called nth term which is right up here and sometimes we call this a sub n as a last term just keep in your mind and as we mentioned before d is our common difference and n stands for the number of terms in any given sequence and here is our very first question. We have to determine if the following sequence is an arithmetic progression. We're going to do part A. Let's look at this thing over here. Our first term is 2, then 6, and then as you can see, the difference between first these two terms is 4, and next two consecutive term is 4 as well, and 4 over here. So no matter we go any further, we are going to have the same common difference. So that means D equals to 4. So as we see that our common difference D equals to 4, which is same no matter which terms you look at it, since this common difference is same, therefore, yes, this is indeed an arithmetic progression. So, yes, our answer is yes. And here is our next part, part B. We're going to look at the common difference. Let's start out with first these two terms. We get to the next term if we add negative 3 likewise negative 3 again and negative 3 again and negative 3 again. So we see a similar pattern our common difference d equal to negative 3 which is same no matter how far you go. So thus in this case the common difference d equal to negative 3 and since this common difference is same so once again yes this is indeed an arithmetic progression so the answer is yes and here is our part c let's find out the common difference between first two term is simply positive 5 the common difference between next two term is positive 3 then we got the next common difference between next two terms is 2, then this is 6. As we can see, we do not have the same kind of common difference. It is not fixed. So we cannot say that we have the same common difference. So in this example, since the common difference is not same as we've seen over 
here therefore this is not an arithmetic progression so the answer is not